You've arrived just in time, Detective. I am Alistair Beckett King, gentleman of leisure and New Testament impersonator. You are the great detective Auguste Dupin, and this is the mystery at Poe House. Edgar Allan Poe is dead. Don't look so surprised. It happened ages ago. You find yourself in the great writer's garret room when before your eyes a phantasm emerges, the spectre of Poe himself, who speaks to you with a flawless mid-19th century American accent. It is I, the ghost of Edgar Allan Poe. Is that the accent you're going with? Maybe. You sound like Dr. Evil. Uh, That is not important. Detective Dupin, you are here to solve the mystery at Poe House. Over the next days, you will be faced with four ingenious riddles. Use your famed powers of ratiocination to solve the puzzles. But take care that you don't lose your mind. Ha 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 ha! Poe, you haven't faded out completely. I can still see you. I know. I am stuck. I don't know how to do it. It's fine. I'm just going to carry on. I- I'm going. You cast... This is me going. You ca- Bye. You cast your detective's eye across the darkling garret, and four details spring out at you. A gold coin, a pendulum clock, a red mask, and a loose floorboard. Which clue will you investigate first? Vote now and see if you can solve the mystery at Poe House. <laughs>